Um, so Scorpio's in retrograde. Anyone feeling that? Uh, some people are like, usually I'm like, it's in retrograde. I'm still the boss of my body, but I, and I am, but I do pay attention and there was some funny stuff that happened today. I made a mistake and I have a private event that is for the women playing my majestic money 30 days to make it rain money game and they um, ended up I'm just sharing this I ended up sharing it with everyone in my shamanista Queens group and so that was kind of funny and I, I couldn't figure it out I was just like I I don't know how it happened so if any of you know how if you create anyway I'm I'd like some assistance with that I'm not gonna waste time with that right now I'm just gonna share this on my timeline and get rolling because I've got like eight minutes before I teach my master class so here we go I'm gonna wait and see if anyone comes on how are you doing this evening hello 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 gorgeous darlings hello hello are you there? Tap, tap, tap. Where's the camera? There it is. Tap, tap, tap. Anyone there? <laughs> Hello. Who's there? Who's with me tonight? I'm going to pull a little card. So I'm Scorpio's in retrograde. Do you know that? If you're watching, uh, why not start today? Linda says, oh, she's sending me a message. Okay. So just, just I get distracted by these text messages. Okay. So Scorpio is in retrograde and not Scorpio see what I mean mercury so mercury <laughs> mercury in retrograde means technology is a little crazy and I had a technology crazy crazy thing just happen a few minutes ago um, but uh, it's all good now it just means more people get to be on involved in my master class tonight more than I planned means I'm contributing to the universe and to my community. Anyway, I just wanted to check in with you. So I'm gonna pull a card and then I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite tricks to unlocking your destiny. If anyone comes on, I'm not seeing anyone with me. Okay, mm, let's see. All right, let's see if I'm on my actual timeline. Okay, so we have the Jack of diamonds jack of diamonds hello if you're here say hello I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite things for unlocking your destiny in a moment and uh, we're working on it tonight in this free class which is so great um, is anyone feeling this mercury in retrograde or the Scorpio moon fascination. Oh, it's not diamonds, it's spades. See what I mean? <laughs> Do you see what I mean here tonight? Okay. I'm waiting. Usually, you guys, who's here with me? Say hello and where you're watching from. Mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous darlings, where are you? gonna get this jack of spades rolling okay so I'm just gonna tell you after I tell you what a jack of spades is in this deck potential and to take caution with your potential be careful with your potential do not throw your pigs before swine do not give your best to someone who does not know that it is your best and that you are the best. It's okay if they don't know it's your best, but don't waste your potential, don't waste your light, don't waste your focus. It's all right to share your light with the whole world, but when it comes to where you invest your potential, where you invest your time, where you invest your creative energy, when it comes to where you invest your power. And yes, people okay, do not know who is knocking on my door. So hold on one moment.
All right, well, that was funny. <laughs> My dog's going nuts, so I have, I, yeah. All right, so here we go. That was, a, I love my neighbors. They're letting me know what's going on. We've got AT&T doing some rewiring, fiber optic stuff coming. Okay, so anyway, I pulled a card for you. My point is invest your potential, invest your love, invest yourself where you are celebrated, where the people who you are with get who you are, love who you are, appreciate who you are, and challenge you to step up into new levels of greatness. So when you come up with a new dream, so you also wanna be around people who are up for growing, or at least celebrate your growth. Because if you're growing and you're hanging out with people that are not committed to growth, then as you start to ascend and rise and dream, there, maybe this has happened to you, they're just gonna be like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? That's not the person that I knew. I don't want to go on that journey with you. And sometimes that still happens and it's wonderful, but if you surround yourself with people who are committed to growth and hang with you in that, then they're not only going to hang with you, they're going to like be with you very likely at least celebrating who you are. Okay, one more thing, and then I've got to jump onto my master class. So I promise to give you one of my favorite tips for creating your destiny, and one of my favorite tools, and it is simply writing down what it is that I want to accomplish, and I'm not just talking about a to-do list, I'm talking about big dreams, big ideas, body weight and and you know fitness levels health levels um, vacations aspirations affirmations and reading those out loud with gratitude with declarative power with faith and knowing that as I create these things and put them into existence that I'm calling on great and grand forces to work on my behalf. So when you, when you write down goals or affirmations and you declare them out loud, you're calling on multiple sources of energy. First of all, you're calling on your particular activating system to pay attention and to start to filter in the things that will bring you into alignment with and into the perfect place so that you can accomplish these things. It's gonna open up ideas, inklings, connections. Also, when you put yourself out there in that way, you start to get very clear with this universal web of information that we're all swimming in. You get clear about what your desire is, and then those things and those people and those opportunities and all the little steps along the way that could take you there begin to resonate and pulse with you. They're already pulsing out there, but they begin to pulse toward and move toward you. They're magnetized toward you um, because you're now clear and you are in alignment with them. So as you're clear, as you're aligned, you draw in what it is that you're calling to you. And then you're calling on your spiritual rights, your birth rights, your ability to call into existence uh, a new reality, to co-create with God, with goddess, with energy, whatever that higher source is that you believe in. So super duper powerful. This has been a prime example of Mercury being in retrograde live and direct. So glad to share it with you. Cheerio, darling. Cheerio. Many, many more glorious moments of wild chaos mixed with <laughs> me trying to anchor in, which I did very well, I think, in the midst of all this. You just got to roll with it and keep going. Okay, time for me to get on to my class. So much love. Bye.